Hello? Hello? Please let me know you can hear me. Looks like looks like I, I had a problem here. Can you hear me? Okay, so sorry about that. I, I didn't know that I, uh, my my microphone was off. I was speaking. I was speaking about the drawing and what well, I usually do. Yes, and I didn't realize. So sorry, guys. I don't know. What, I don't know what exactly what happened, but so sorry. Okay, let's continue painting. I was saying that it's not my intention to get uh, close to any skin color like right away to a skin color and just trying to uh, get close to any skin color like an obviously it's always like a uh, grayish orangey color okay it's gonna be always always like that it's gonna, it's gonna be maybe to the yellow side or to reddish or yellowish I need to work with two brushes, one brush to apply the color and another brush. I'm gonna keep this one wet to blend. Okay. I apply one brush stroke because with this one I just blend the paint. And squinting my eyes, always trying to see the difference between lights and darks. This brush for uh, blending, I keep this one wet. What I did, what I do with this, I dip the brush and I do this. Okay, that's enough to keep this brush ready for blending Okay. 
going to mix some orange again a little bit of white and a little bit of ultramarine blue Okay, let's draw. <coughs> mm, again. Okay, this is too orangey, a little bit of cerulean blue. Okay, oh, somebody's asking me about the material. You've been painting with this, this brand, Reefs Acrylic. I'm just using water and I have like enough time for painting I mean this acrylic in general I think acrylic paints doesn't dry that fast now but if you want you can use anything I mean there are some products to slow the drying time Let's draw one eye here, another one here. I'm not, I'm not making details because I'm not so sure exactly about the position of the eyes. Okay. Now the nose, let's see, if I trace a line from here down, I'm going to find the nose. Okay. Okay, oh, none that, uh, uh, no, it's not paper, this is canvas. This is the same canvas I use for all your paints. Hey, Lumberfoot. apply with one brush and I keep one brush for blending okay let's see let's see again the shadow here I'm not being precise and just trying to get close to the position of the mouth and the nose. Since acrylic dries dries faster, I'm gonna be able to retouch this. Now I'm thinking just about position of the eye, no, no, the eyes, nose, and mouth. Okay, I'm trying to keep an eye here. Okay. I'm tracing uh, lines like this one from here to the nose, the same, I'm looking for more like, let's say from here, the contour of the mouth, up, okay, what else, I mean, 
maybe I can use this here down down yeah. okay I wet my brush I do this to take out the excess of water and I do this for blending or I use paper towel and I do the same Maggi, uh, yes, Maggi, I mean, I missed the sessions too. You know, I got the flu uh, and, you know, these days we cannot get the flu <laughs> because every, 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 everybody thinks uh, maybe it could be the COVID or... Eh? Continue this draw the eyebrow here, eyebrow here. Okay. Let's see this. Okay, let's see this. Stepping back, now I realize this angle of the brow is, is not okay. The angle of the brow, the brow is more like this. better this angle is like this and the angle of the eye I mean it's the same I gotta change something here Try to make more details to the face. I'm gonna add black, red, and yellow. A little bit of water. Okay, let's draw again. And now I have something, you know, I have the eyes, the nose, kind of close. It's not perfect, of course, it's not perfect. But at, at least I need to see something in order to make corrections hmm. hello Joyce <clears throat> uh, hello Mar Maria yes Maggie Brooks uh, the flu is not fun to have yes yes I was just eating with my kids yesterday 
and I said something like, uh, okay, like the, the food doesn't have too much uh, flavor, taste, it doesn't taste that much, I mean, I was speaking about it, uh, that it needs maybe more salt, and my daughter was, oh my god, you're losing the smell, you're losing the, the taste. So I said, what? No, 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 are you saying that? that the food needs a little bit of salt or something, yeah? But nowadays it's just like that. I mean, everybody's scared. I mean, we should we should uh, take precautions out of that, but... Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I gotta go back to the painting. Mm -hmm. Okay, more black. Okay, let's draw again the eyes. my eyes again I need to see the angle of the nose okay checking out this angle here the nose here Hello B. Right now I'm not thinking too much about the color like uh, what areas should be more reddish or yellowish or greenish or no I'm just adding this uh, I add this base this color base close to a skin color and Right now I'm trying to get the position of the features right, yes. Mm, mm, okay, let's work on the mouth. I always keep measuring the distance from here to here to here. always the difficult part for me try to paint this area because it's kind of difficult to to know if I don't have right this I mean that's pretty sure I'm not, I'm not gonna have this right I need to have this right first the eyes the nose and the mouth in order to have right uh, the contour of the face let's do this This is helping me, uh, but I'm not gonna make a, a really clear or sharp 
edge here. I'm just gonna leave it like that and I'll continue working in the middle of the face. Okay, let's see. change my brush more water Again, let's work on the eyes. I'm gonna change, I'm gonna use round brushes. Okay, and this, this is better. I have these feedback brushes, number zero. Okay, let's make more details on the eyes. Try to paint this clearer. Stepping back, I'm gonna measure again. I gotta see the distance between the eyes. I think uh, my eyes, the eyes in my painting, are maybe too close. <clears throat> I'm not so sure. I'm, I'm stepping back. Let me see. Mm. Yeah, maybe it's because. Uh, Maybe because it's here. Remove this here. I'm gonna make more more space here. <clears throat> ok. 
in the mess here. Okay, let's see, let's step back. Mm, eyes, nose, mouth. <laughs> Something is wrong. Too early to say it. Too early to tell where is where is wrong. I, I have to continue, you know I have to continue. The more I see the more I'm unable to to make corrections. Okay, let me see. Hello, Monique. Uh, okay, no worry. Okay, Monique. Yes, I'm feeling okay now. Make some tropos. Are you painting on canvas? Yes, I'm painting on canvas. High moonlight. Yes, thank you, Monique. Cotton canvas primed with gesso three times. Mm. I applied the gesso with a, a ruler, something like this. I put I put the gesso and I do this three times. Well, I mean fourth. That would be three times uh, white gesso and the last layer is uh, gray. You mix gesso with uh, black acrylic. Hello Michael. Mm -hmm. Thank you Michael, you're yeah, doing okay. You know I still have the flu but the good thing about having the flu is like it's just I mean, I, I've been just, I didn't do too much the last week. I've been watching TV all day. <laughs> That's the good thing about having the flu. Okay, let's continue painting. Okay, now that I uh, kind of, let's say, I have the, this, the, the, the position of the eyes and the nose a kind of close to the model I mean definitely uh, 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 at this point definitely I'm gonna move maybe the, the mouth the eyes a little bit to up or down or to the left to the right but I can just now think about color because definitely I mean, I'm going to make corrections on the drawing, but I have to start making corrections. Okay, oh no, I start, sorry, thinking about the, the skin color. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see. I'm just... Um, mm, let me think. Okay. Uh, I'm going to mix a color first for this area. I'm gonna add more paint now. Let's see. You add the paint with one brush and then you're gonna pick up another brush for blending. Okay. Keep this brush wet to do this. I 
uh, so I'm keeping doing that this during the whole process. You see that it's blended. I can add, let's say, a darker color. This is too dark, but let's add it this color here, just to show you, okay? Right here, I pick up this brush. I have enough time. I mean, it's not going to dry so fast. And then I go like this. Okay. I, I've been using a flat brush. I can use this round brush. I wet the brush, not that not much. I do this and I, keep, I blend. Okay. Now this color is not okay since we are working with acrylics and acrylics dry fast. We can add another layer on top of this immediately you see it's for me it's like sometimes I just want uh, the acrylic to dry slower and sometimes I, I just love that it dries really fast it depends on what, what you're working because sometimes I just, you need to add another layer just right away and you need the paint uh, to be dry in order to apply another layer and sometimes we need the paint to be really wet Okay, somebody's asking me why you did you use the ruler Renzo? Oh, uh, okay, I prefer to use the ruler because it, it just leaves the, the surface so, I mean, level. Yes, I mean, I don't have to send uh, the canvas between layers, between gesso layers, when I add, uh, add, add the gesso with a um, brush. I have to send the canvas between uh, layers. Okay. And uh, another reason is that with the ruler is like I kill the the tooth of the canvas, the cotton, and the surface is so uh, soft. I have some tooth, but not that much. Okay. When I, when I prepare the uh, okay, let's say that change. I mean, it's not like all, all, always. If I, I have to prepare a bigger canvas, I'm not gonna use a ruler. I'm gonna use a brush, a big brush, and I'm going I'm going to sand between layers, between coats of gesso. Yeah, adding more color to the skin. Soft, okay. 
I add the paint and this one that is sweat go like this really soft <clears throat> so sorry that I'm gonna be coughing because I mean I I I I, I had the flu and I mean that's impossible to to avoid coughing sometimes sometimes sorry about that Little by little, mm. the color is not okay. I don't like it. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm think I gotta just light up the color a little bit. I'm gonna keep that kind of reddish skin. I'm gonna light up on the lights. Mm. Lily Collins, who's Lily Collins? I don't know her. Uh, Bar Barbas is asking me which, which do you prefer, acrylic paint or oil paint? Uh, okay, uh, you, I prefer oil paints. Uh, but I, I mean, that's. I love both, but I mean, I should usually paint more with oil paints. But it's not like uh, I don't know. Maybe it's because I paint a lot. It's usually uh, I mean these days I haven't painted because I, I I got the flu. But usually I have to paint at least uh, at least six hours daily, and like like a normal job. Like a normal work, okay? Like your, your, your. I mean, I'm pretty sure all of you work oh, um, eight hours a day. Yes, that's the same for me. Eight hours, eight hours painting. That's that's my goal. And sometimes I have painted for twelve, fourteen, sixteen hours. And sometimes I just don't paint at all for sometimes from for a week. Uh, when I get really sick for a month and just meh. and because of that uh, I change the material sometimes because I don't know I need that I need to change for oil paints to acrylic to pastel that's why in my channel I mean you're gonna you're gonna see like uh, a lot of the videos are in the paintings uh, are in oil with oil paints some of them are acrylic and some of them are in pastel and that's that's the reason
and uh, when, we, when you paint <coughs> sorry when you paint a lot like like eight hours I don't mean that I'm gonna paint just one portrait for eight hours I mean usually after a couple of hours you get tired it's not like you get tired like oh my god I wanna go to take a nap it's not like that it's like uh, just visually tired you know that you're not gonna see any mistakes anymore then you're not able to make corrections and I gotta stop for 20 minutes let's say and then I pick up another painting yes I mean I paint uh, portraits but I paint my own paintings my own let's say ideas and usually my paintings are bigger like let's say 50 by 50 inches or 40 or 30 by 40 and thus I have enough space to move from one area to the other other area of the painting and spend a couple of hours maybe and uh, I mean for example I have a painting that is 50 by 60 inches it has two women and some flowers and a lake something like that and then of course I spent I can spend a couple of hours in uh, one face and then move to paint the lake and then move to paint the flowers there's a couple of women with big big flowers and then uh, I move again to the face and I could spend painting that particular painting for eight hours in one day uh, yes I mean at the end it's something like I start uh, let's say at the morning and I finished uh, midnight because you I mean I'm, I'm gonna make a video for YouTube I try to make videos for YouTube reg regularly uh, uh, for me that would be like daily but I mean that's it's difficult to do it and I give uh, classes, art lessons in my Patreon account by the way if you want to support my channel you can join my Patreon account and with the, ha the time that I, ha I have I mean you see me here on YouTube like a couple of hours maybe I'm gonna have a class a private class for twice a week for a couple uh, two hours and the rest of the time I have to do something eh? <laughs> Since I'm working, that's my work, I paint. And sometimes on the night, really late, I make a live stream in my drawing channel, just sketching. It's like the, day, the end of my working day. I make a live uh, a sketch, a drawing sketch and I go to bed when my days are like kind of uh, let's say busy with other stuff my family or like that uh, 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 I draw when I go to the bathroom <laughs> because I have to draw, I mean, someday, I mean, daily, a little bit, at least a little bit. Yeah. And then I go to the bathroom, take my time, and I draw. A lot of people just uh, just to a lot of people tell me that maybe I'm working that much, uh, but that's that's normal. I mean that's that's a, re a regular work, yeah, regular work, regular job. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, los. I think I have lost something in the painting. It's getting flat. That means that I'm losing the contrast between light and shadows. I mean, in this case, the shadows are not so dark. That means that means I'm losing the lights. This is something that you gotta pay attention with acrylics, because you put this color. Let's say you f you feel you feel that this color is light. You put it in, in when when it gets dry. Uh, it's kind of uh, it gets darker a little bit. Okay, in my case, I know that's gonna happen. I, I gotta go over the lights again and again, painting paint then again and again, like three, four, six times because I mean that's difficult to predict really difficult to predict how what's gonna happen when it gets dry I mean how much value I, I think this kind of one value and you use a value scale it's gonna be like one value and but it depends I mean if the painting is maybe has too much water it's gonna change less and have Let's worry on the change more. Yes, even if I don't have any paint, but if I wet this, you see, I didn't add any paint, I just wet this. You see, it looks like I added a little bit of uh, white or a, li a lighter value. Stepping back, something is not right there. Something is not okay. I think it's the angle of the brows. Mm. Okay, Moonlight. Thank you, Monique. Thank you, Pete. Michael. Michael is doing some calligraphy. Uh, you frame the calligraphy yourself. Oh, that's really good, Michael. I mean, you're saving a lot of money because <laughs> framing sometimes could be really expensive.
let's see, let's work. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> But remember the brush for blending I have to be wet. <clears throat> Michael Handy being a carpenter and a glazer. <laughs> yes, right. Hello Vicky. Uh, it's canvas. The same canvas I use for other paints. again let's switch to a small brush around the small brush and we use this red for blending the other eye. Okay, let's see. Mm. 
Not okay, it's not okay. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Let's open the mouth. Mm. Something is wrong on her eyes. Darken the, the white of the eyes. Okay. okay, now let's open the mouth. See the upper lip is a lot, a lot. I mean, the width of the upper lip is, is more than the lower lip. The shadow here. Okay, I need to kill down this reddish color, make it more grayish.
Okay, let's work on the lower lip again. I always think about the overall shape to capture uh, I mean the position and the shape or of the mouth. When I speak in overall shape, I speak about all the whole mouth. But now that I gotta paint one lip, one lip and the other lip, that's when um, I just gotta just pay attention a lot to the form. It's just like that. It's just copy. I mean. Uh, following some rules, obviously, that we all, we should know about the volume of uh, the mouth. Yes. I mean, uh, when we apply the highlight here and not here, of course, I mean, that means that this object, uh, or let's say that this is an object that is turning. Okay? And we gotta consider that always. Because when we think about that, uh, that means that we keep in always thinking about the three-dimensionality, about the three dimensions that they have this object, that the, the width, uh, the height, and the depth. Okay, and the difficult one to capture is the depth. And I think if I keep in thinking that this is a uh, I mean, the, let's say that the primary form of the mouth is, let's say, a can. A can, you know, I mean, something like this. That means that this curve here, that's going to help me when I apply the light here, because I'm thinking about that. And, and I'm not going to make a mistake and go with this light all the way to the contour of the mouth. And even uh, thinking about that, if this light is really bright, the light is close to this one here, it's not going to be that bright. Okay. If the light moves to this side of the mouth, or to the right side of the mouth, left and right side of the mouth, it lost brightness. It's like any ob any curve object will do. That's gonna happen with any curve object. Oh, Fatsy RF is asking me, okay, yeah, it's been a week. I mean, I, I just got the flu because I, uh, that's what I stopped making the live streams for a week. Okay, let's add some green some green color on the face. knock down any color by adding the, com the it's complementary color okay or just you can add gray I mean but that's different when you add red uh, you kill 
let's say when add there, I kill the green by creating another color. It's a brownish color. When you add gray, just black and white, uh, you just like do, you're desaturating the color. You're creating more colors, but it's going you're going to the uh, grayish uh, version of that color. I mean, there's there's no uh, like you should use one way or the other. You just use any way that you feel that is gonna be okay with you. I'm not in this like just a glaze. Okay, I just need to see this color here. Just like that. I'm gonna just apply more paint on top of this, but I need to see this. That means that I'm making. I'm trying to say that I'm doing this in purpose, okay? I know the value maybe is not right. Don't worry about that. I'm just adding a glaze. Maybe it's too, it look too greenish. That's okay. That's okay. It's just a glaze. Okay. Okay, that's what I wanted. Now let's mix again an orange. It'd be more reddish. Okay, now I'm gonna be careful about this because I don't wanna I don't want to get rage of this greenish color added here. Uh, that means that if I get rid of that color, I'm gonna add it again. Okay, I'm gonna add another layer of this color again, this greenish color. I could make this skin color just one one color. Yes, it could be. I mean, if you want to, but I want to always add a little bit of green, a little bit of red, and at the same time, uh, uh, let's say maybe uh, later in the process, I will think about temperature. Okay, I will think about a little bit. If I add more warm or cool colors, too much water, but that's okay. That's what I want. Just like a glaze, okay. I'm trying to establish the colors on the face. Just need a little bit, not that much. and I add in uh, this reddish color I mean usually the face any face have some reddish areas are gonna be always the same okay uh, the upper and lower eyelid uh, here in the, in the middle of the forehead you can add some pink uh, the nose the cheeks and the chin uh, oh, of course, the, the mouth. Let's see what we're gonna do with this mouth because this mouth it lo looks really dark. The lips, I don't think that would be okay to keep the mouth so dark. I'm gonna 
just try to change this uh, let's see I gotta do it and see if it's okay or not if I don't like it I gotta put it back you notice this is kind of a glaze it's really transparent uh, that means that I wanna lo I don't want to lost the, the drawing I just want this mouth to be lighter okay uh, okay uh, can I watch this again after Nanda is asking yes yes it's gonna be in YouTube you can go over the video again and again just be sure be sure to watch the ads okay because when you when you watch the ads I make money <laughs> Joyce my husband just walk, walked into the studio and said yeah he rinses back okay <laughs> oh thank you so much Joyce and thank you so much to your husband hey okay. hello Hyman <laughs> Nanda, green on the face, I wouldn't think about that. Yeah, I mean, always there's some green. I mean, it's up to you because uh, those colors are really soft. You, uh, you, you see those colors in classical paintings, and maybe in some people you're gonna see, not, notice those colors on the face, but it's not like it's not, sometimes it's not, so those colors are just so subtle that we don't even realize that exist on the face okay let's see I think I like the mouth now softer because you know I mean the, the, the original image is a black and white image it's a really old picture and that dark mouth obviously is, is adding some hardness to the painting I don't like that now another thing that I have to do with this green okay a little bit more of this uh, reddish color on the face this is really, really transparent that means that for me it's like uh, thinking like adding a glaze on oil, oil paint that means that I'm just planning to make a really subtle change Okay. I have to I, I need to I mean this is not by adding green I'm just trying to grade down this color it's not I'm not thinking about green right now just grading down this color I can add even black and white gray to gray down the color I mean you gotta see which one is working better Maybe gray, maybe green. Still, uh, right now I'm thinking that I see too much red on the face and I'm trying to control that by adding this gray color uh, in other words I'm trying to gray down the color ok 
Okay, that's better. Too much right to the nose. A little bit of this gray blend. And this is working okay. Okay, let's work on the tillers again. Uh, by doing that, I, I have I have killed the lights again. That's normal, okay? That's normal, that's gonna happen anyway. Remember, that's, I mean, that's one thing that I don't like. If I, I, I pick up one thing that I don't like about acrylics is that, I mean, kind of difficult to predict about this thing. When you get wet, it looks like it's slide up the color. It dries and it's darkening a little bit. And I don't have like a, a lot of experience with acrylics. It's, but anytime I'm not able to predict that, I'm not able to see that's gonna happen. I keep forgetting that. And I'm trying to remind me myself because you know a lot of things that when we paint we have to create a muscle memory about a lot of, a lot of things in painting for me is because I don't want to spend a lot of time thinking on about everything I mean I do that but I try to do that a lot first in order to don't do it anymore I mean like don't don't be aware of that of doing that I'm doing that definitely we have to be thinking all the time about color harmony about what colors in what area is gonna be reddish or grayish or or uh, thinking about perspective that means that this light here I mean I cannot add this light here and at the same with the same brush make the light here okay if I'm gonna do that I'm gonna add less paint here and more paint here why because I mean this is closer to us this area and this is a little away from us that means that if I keep doing this, I'm going to just enhance the delusion of depth. But let's say if I just add this color here, here, and here, everywhere, I'm going to be killing the illusion of depth. You know that everything in painting is about the illusion of depth. And in order to do that, we think about color contrast and about the edges how sharp or soft the edges should be definitely uh, if something is away from us the edges are gonna be lost and something is closer to us the edges are gonna be sharp I mean a normal problem is that we sharp everything we used to do that we love to do that. Okay, we love to see everything sharp, everything like real. I mean, we see that there. And that's not normal. I mean, for me, I mean, it was was it been like that a lot for a long time. It's something that we gotta just try to control. Uh, because uh, the problem is, I mean, in my case, if I see, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about a long time if uh, I, I was painting and something is kind of lost I mean I'm speaking about the edges yeah for me it was like uh, it was not finished it was incomplete and I had to learn that it's not about that okay most important is the illusion of depth
even here if you paint in here the nose you're not gonna do this or the, the color is, is not gonna be the same here and here I mean the, no the whole nose okay right now I'm painting that and I'm thinking that I'm going to add a lighter color here to this area now when you think about a lighter color you gotta be thinking about something else what this lighter color is lighter just because it has just white and in it just white is enough to make a color a bit brighter or you need to add make it uh, add more saturation to that color that means add maybe yellow okay white yellow maybe, yes because maybe yellow is gonna be I mean white and yellow is obviously is brighter than just adding white and that, that it can uh, at the same time you think okay no well, maybe I'm gonna add uh, another color to create contrast and that's when you start thinking about the color temperature okay I want to stop speaking for a mo moment because I need to concentrate a little bit here Okay, mm. okay. I still I have a uh, here something. Uh, I love the skin color right now. I know that the pinky color is maybe too much. I, I'm gonna try to control, it, but I don't wanna. I don't wanna get rid of that pinky color. I love that the pinky color. I need more light to the face. Okay. And one way that would be maybe add more yellow, let's say to this, like a glaze, okay? I'm gonna add it, I'm adding more water. I'm gonna do this. I pick up the brush for blending. Really softly. This is gonna look lighter, but it's not lighter, okay? That's the effect of acrylic. It's gonna dry, it's gonna darken a little bit. Now I gotta go again. Until uh, when I see this dry, I see the, the brightness there. When that more paint. Because you have seen is I mean if you just add water, water without any paint, you're gonna light up the color in the, in the paint. That's gonna be I mean that's an illusion. That's not real. I mean. Okay, let's see. Let's work on the contour of the face. reflect the light here okay I'm not thinking about the reflected light right now I'm just adding this light when I, I'm painting I see this reflected light I just love to add some blue here to make a difference yes because all the faces are always warm if I add some bluish color to the reflected light uh, Sometimes it works really good. Sometimes, okay. Okay, hello, Eve. Uh, okay, I'm gonna scroll up to see. Okay, Linda. Oh, no, it's acrylic. Thank you, Monique. Hello, Eve. Hello, Mary. Yeah, hello, okay. Okay, Michael is saying, okay. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have the, the class tomorrow. The patron, patron class, yes. Monique, uh, okay, 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 let me read. Uh, hello, Ramsey. Hello, David Hidden. Okay, let's continue painting. I added a little bit of yellow to this paint and let's see if that changed something the color on the face. More light. Right, let's give it a minute to dry in order to see the real value there. Because the, the value change, you know, the, va the va value gets darker. Do not more paint, less water, more paint in order to, uh, to. I mean, if I add more water. It looks like lighter, but at the end, it's gonna be darker again. Two yellow here, but that's the good thing about acrylic that you see a color, and you already added a color. It looks different, like right now in my case, two yellowish. Yeah, you change and you add another color on top of that immediately. That changed that. to add the greens again on the face mm -hmm. no no I'm just thinking about that okay what else I need to do I need to work a little bit on the uh, here in this area okay 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 Add thinking here 
what could be the best color for her uh, uh, dress? I don't know what it is, what is, it, what is this, but I mean. mouth that would be soft. The shadow on the nose should be a little bit soft, at least too dark. Let's see. I'm gonna add a base of orange. Let's see if that works. the drawing values I love the nose right now I need, I need I think the volume is okay uh, obviously I know that the volume is because of the contrast there is no contrast here there is not too much contrast here there is more contrast here the nose pops forward I mean I'm not gonna keep that contrast because I don't like uh, this shadow to be dar dark on the nose the shadow should be transparent and now what I'm gonna do is I add I'm gonna add a glaze here this orange okay let's see Adding a little bit of grey to this orange here. I feel that's too bright. Okay, let's see. If I gotta put put it uh, dark again, that's okay. No problem at all because it is transparent. I haven't lost the drawing. That's important because it took me too much to get the drawing. I mean it's not right right it's not, it's not perfect but I don't want to lost uh, the drawing anyway more red dark red let's see That's okay with the mouth. I don't want this to be so dark. white this red I'm trying to control the color, I don't want to uh, go too bright. Ok, 
Okay, I think I love the, this color. It's bright. It's, it's kind of neutral. Yeah. Now what I'm gonna do with the upper lip. <coughs> One minute, guys. See. ¿De mi billetera está ahí? Creo que está afuera. Lo que hay, creo, no sé cuánto hay. Todo lo que hay. ¿Todo? Sí, es poco. Es 40 dólares, ¿está bien? Mhm. Sí, lleva todo, lleva todo. Ah, uh, no. Está colgada, creo ahí. Sorry, my, my kids are taking the dog to the vet. And they asking me for money. You know. Now let's work on the eyes because the eyes are okay. So, uh, let's read the comments. Uh, hello, uh, Nicola. Okay, okay. Okay, Nicola. Okay. Uh, Nicola, you, you're saying, I mean, you're speaking about my Patreon account. Yes. Uh, okay. I don't know if, I don't know how to help you. Uh, there is, I mean, the only option to, a uh, Patreon account is automatic. You go there, you go to it, you, you, you click on the button, to pay, and that's it. And you get access to the videos, to the recorded videos. Thank you, Leslie. Leslie. Hello, Ram Ram Ramsey. Uh, Linda is asking me about the medium and uh, just using water, just water. Yes. I haven't used anything more. I mean, and I, I never use ever anything more. Uh, but I will. I will. I mean, I, I I want to. I want to use more because I, I'm really limited with my materials. I mean, it's not. It's not about making because of making YouTube videos. It's, it's it just it's just me. I mean. I I, I get okay uh, with using the material and, and I don't change it. But I mean, we have to. We have to investigate. We have to try more materials. It's just. It's just me. I mean, I don't know. I, mean, I just. Okay, I don't know why. Sometimes I find some, that something works for me, and I, uh, I get stuck using the same again and again. I gotta change that. I gotta change that because. I don't even know, it's been a long time, I mean, uh, since I was thinking to use any, any other medium, and I didn't do it, and maybe, I just don't know, maybe I'm gonna find out that I'm gonna get 
amazing results using another medium. I'm mixing this again and I'm gonna add this. Just one minute again, guys. Dime. Si, sí, de repente, para entrar a todos lados que están pidiendo. You know that we see this really dark here, but we don't need to make this dark. Uh, I know that's the makeup, uh, but I don't. Uh, if I add all the all the area of the eyelashes dark, I'm just gonna kill the volume. Okay. Does any, anybody knows uh, here? Uh, eye eyes color because uh, I didn't know any I didn't I didn't see any color image of Audrey Hepmer I have seen just some colored image but I mean no no real colored color photographies yes just some color image that I don't know if the color are, are, is okay but I don't remember the color of the eyes I don't remember the color of her eyes if anybody knows please let me know I'm putting this brown kind of brown color here right now but I can change that What happened is my, my dog, our little dog, she, get, she got really excited because she's going out. But as soon as she realized that she's getting close to the bed, to the vet, <laughs> she wants to go back to home. It's so funny because she's so happy. It's as soon as she realized it's getting close. Because the vet is just here, so close to my home. Just half block. And next to the vet, there is a, a small park. Sí. Sí. Sí, es obligatorio. Ahí hay una máscara.
having some yellow to the light to make it brighter. Okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She has brown eyes. Okay, thank you, Michael. Yes, finish. Hello, finish. Uh, yes, I'm using a lot of water to blend. I, I uh, always, uh, I mean, every time that I blend, first what I what I did is dip the brush in water. I do this, and I blend. Too much water in my blending brush. I forgot to. I dipped the brush in the water and I forgot just to take out the excess. Now it's okay. I add the paint. You see my brush doesn't. I don't pressure that much on the canvas. Just that. Can repeat again. Again here. Okay. A little bit of paint and I blend. Really soft. get the shape of the, the nose okay I'm gonna grind down this color a little bit for to work this area here okay always think you don't want the same color here and here If one area of the face is a little far away from us, that means that it have to you, we have to change the color or value. There, pick up this brush and dip in the brush in water. I'm doing this and ready for blending. Only thing that you're gonna see that this is looking lighter than it really is. As soon as it get dry, gets dry, you're gonna see it's gonna darken a little bit. That's the problem that we need to we need to see that coming. That's kind of difficult to calculate. Okay, I'm gonna change. Another brush. I have another one here. Mix in black, white, yellow, and red. Okay, let's see. To dark, more white. 
I tried to keep an order in my palette, but so sorry today is a mess. Okay. Let's blend that. Two greenish. Okay, I'm gonna add yellow and red. Oh, that was too much yellow. I need more red. You have orange at orange. I just keep keep working with a limited palette. I, I mean, I keep myself working with a limited palette, but you don't you don't have to. It's easier if you have orange. Really soft. Now I change the color. Not the value, I need to light up this more. And I need to add again. Again. Okay. the brush I need to work with a darker color Soften this. I don't want the edge uh, sharp. I'm blending with the same brush just by changing the pressure okay, when I apply paint I pressure more when I blend I go on the air just softly without pressuring that much I'm gonna go back here and change the color and of course I gotta think if I change the value Okay, if I make this really dark, it's because it's dark. Maybe, um, maybe I don't want that. Maybe I just want the eyes to be really dark. Maybe. I mean, it's not. I'm not copying exactly the painting. You know, I mean, trying to get the likeness. Of course, I always try to do that. But I always love to do some changes. And I think just pure, pure black.
this is not gonna stay that black because you see here the paint you see how thin it is looks really black but it's not gonna I mean if it's dry it's gonna lost it's gonna lose that if I add this pure like this this is different okay this is gonna keep being really black okay remember don't go with this black all over it doesn't matter if this makeup if you do it I mean do it and see what happens <laughs> Now I can keep really high, con high contrast here on the eyes. Of course, less contrast on the nose and the mouth. And I'm gonna darken this, but I'm not gonna darken this as dark as the image. And first, I don't know this hair, hair. I don't know her hair, hair color. Maybe it's um, brown. Maybe she's, she's blonde. Or she was blonde. Mm. Okay, let's see. Let's make a dark brown. Mixing black, ultramarine blue. A dark brown is a dark orange. That's why it's always red and uh, yellow to make a dark orange okay maybe i can keep a high contrast yeah, i will do it let's see what happens with the black black here okay let's see I don't know if you know you notice what I'm doing I'm doing I'm driving the I'm driving the attention from one side to another side it's like I'm moving the focal point from white one side of the painting to the other side and just like moving your eyes around the painting where I want okay if I add this black immediately you don't see first here you see eyes and this is really black if I add really dark here and light up this that's gonna change the effect okay and that's something that we have to do in purpose we have to we need to learn to control this that was that that's the focal point we need to move the focal point we need to be able to move the focal point wherever we want I mean we, we're not gonna have focal points all over the, the, the portrait and uh, we already have a focal point every time that we paint a portrait I'm usually the focal point uh, is the eyes because the eyes drive a lot of, atten of attention Okay, another another way to let's say play with the focal point that would be uh, keep this dark, keep this dark, and go light with a uh, with a lighter color on the hair. Up, up here. And if you don't want to play with focal point, you just paint what you see and copy what you see exactly I'll go and copy what you see exactly I mean there is no right there is no wrong I'm doing this because you know I keep repeating always that at the same time I'm painting and showing you this I'm practicing okay now for example this is too dark too reddish I don't like it and it's too reddish I mean the hair should be a dark kind of dark greenish brownish color
Okay, what if I do this? I pick up an, a little bit of white, a lot of water, and what if I do this? Okay, what I'm doing here is just softening this and then changing again my focal point. That means that uh, my eyes are not going to be dry to the upper area. I need to do the same here to soften this. Of course, I need to work a little bit more here. Eh? So this is not enough. I'm just doing this to show you that if you kill the contrast, you you kill the, the fo a focal point. But uh, I mean, that's it's not enough. I mean, uh, the, the information is not complete because. Because it's too much information. But if you want to learn more, join to my Patreon account. Okay. Okay. Well, let's continue working on the face. This is kind of uh, annoying me a little bit, this brush stroke. Hey, Michael, looks like you have a sketchbook for sale. Well, that's good. <laughs> okay, Lindy's asking me. Ah, the brand, the brand is Reefs. Okay, thank you, Barbara. That's the Barbara used. Uh, she used wrote the not the, the name Reefs. lights to the hair the good thing about acrylics is this here that it looks too bright this that's not a problem because it's gonna dry fast. I can add a glaze on top of this and kill that color. much water okay wow too much red a little bit of white and mixing with this green here we don't have too much water okay it's just almost nothing of water that helps me with, uh, uh, let's say, uh, this is what 
we call when we in oil paint scumbling or using a dry brush that's exactly what I'm doing right now you're gonna realize that this is easier to control and okay, yes I don't wanna keep just adding more more paint more paint and I gotta find a way to control the paint and the, uh, this is easier to control. adding this kind of uh, scumbling dry brush no water you see no water at all and I go like this okay this is a round brush number 12 uh, this is not new I mean when it's new it's something like this this is number 12 you see the difference between the set both new brush really pointy old brush now pointy at all but perfect for this Remember that you gotta wait a little bit in order to see if what you have painted is okay or not because as soon as it gets dry, gets dry it gets darker a little bit is kind of off yes, I think it's a shadow here yes I think that was a shadow here Oh, Nicola, so sorry, Nicola is telling me that uh, uh, Nicola, Nicola is uh, and that he doesn't understand me Nicola, uh, so sorry, Nicola, uh, I don't know what to do mm. I mean, uh, because she's trying, I mean he's trying to get into my Patreon account Okay, by the way, I'm going to leave my Patreon account here if somebody wants to get into my Patreon account to support me here is my the link I mean, it's the, the, the screen you can see it's Renzo Art but here I just leave the link in the description box uh, in the comment, in the comments box, okay In my Patreon account, just for uh, 
four dollars we paint every Saturday for an hour. We're painting a still lives Saturday and uh, Wednesday for fifteen dollars. Every Wednesday we paint. Uh, I mean face portraits and small portion of the face. And I mean, let's see. I mean, the idea is just to paint anything, everything. And Sundays we paint. Uh, Sundays is the, the uh, $100 tier. Just up to 10 people. We paint por one portrait every every Sunday for four hours. Stepping back, I'm just trying to see how I just darken some areas for example I need to darken the this brown and the other one too I need to okay let's pick up this color a little bit of blue a little bit of yellow okay I need and add this is a, a grayish greenish darker color I don't add brown here because of brown remember this is brown is a like a dark orange. I don't want a dark orange the brows. I prefer like a dark green. Okay, I need to make this a little bit darker. Now here I need to add a little bit of red. Here's different, okay. Here the color is darker but saturated and it tends to be like a dark red. A dark reddish color, okay, no no dark red. Just here, just in the shadow, I mean. Don't spread that red all over here. I need to make this darker. Uh, change brushes but I keep always using one brush for applying the paint and the other brush for blending okay now I change again and add a little bit of blue and yellow okay. Okay, 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 I need to see more contrast on the face not blue and black make this a little bit darker I'm going to soften the edge It's going to be difficult to keep that edge 
soft okay going back here I need to make this brow darker and thicker okay. What a dark. Here I go again. I wait this brush, I clean it up. Okay, uh, okay. Spiritus, Spiritus Animus is telling me ice, ice color have been going brown. Okay, okay. I will make a change. I think you can. Hello, Sri. How are you, man? Yes, I'm back. <laughs> Hello, Dennis. It's really sorry, just join apologies and someone is already claiming this. It's not. Can I have this painting, please? Yes, of course. Yeah. Yes, of course. Of course. Thank you so much. It's re it's Rican cheap Dorothy. I'm gonna keep this painting for you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Michael. From here is just uh, I'm just making more details and trying to control where I'm gonna put more contrast and fixing things. I see right now the mouth, the lower lip is uh, I think it's too small, too sh yeah, it's too small. Okay, and I'm gonna add, I'm gonna change the, the color of the eyes. Okay, I see some um, what else. Mm, I need to add some green colors on the face again. Okay, maybe darken a little bit the skin. 
the shadows. Mm, I don't know. I'm thinking out loud about all the things that I maybe I will do or maybe I won't. Okay, maybe darken the shadows. A little bit of green. That would be okay. Green one is more red. I have lost some reddish areas. Uh, I mean, and okay, I gotta go back to that. Yes, that's one thing that I have to do. I mean, first I'm gonna paint the ear. I'm going to fix um, the mouth. Another thing I was thinking, maybe I should add more color to the lips because. I mean, uh, I still feel that. I mean, the mouth is darker in the image, yes, in the f in the, f uh, in the picture. But I just want to make this change. Let's see if that works. Mixing orange. Not too much paint. I'm taking. I'm doing this. forgot I was thinking I was thinking about the year first and then I, I change to let me check out just this thinking thinking just thinking right now okay Let's work on the year. the paint with one brush and I keep another one to blend
Okay. Oh, now mix more, more darker red. Forget this. Let's add some green to the eyes. Okay. That's okay. Thank you, Mr. Then it's maybe cut off a little bit of the left cheek. Okay, okay, yeah. I'm gonna check out on that. Then it's a, a bit more work on the jacket. Oh, oh, this, I mean, I, I don't think I'm gonna work the jacket. I'm just gonna leave it at that, but I mean, I'm gonna check out the, uh, the, the cheek. Thank you, Dennis. I'm still thinking about adding blue, a light blue reflected, reflected light. Maybe not. Uh, Maybe not. Oh, where I was? Ah, I was here. Okay, I'm gonna add some lights here and there. White, a little bit of yellow to make a highlight here. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in the image to see details. I want the image really big in my screen. Okay. Touches here and there. I will remember, I mean, the light here 
it's not gonna be as bright as in the other eye the eye that is closer to you is gonna be always brighter and you're gonna have more contrast and more saturation okay if you add the same contrast or saturation to both eyes I mean that that's you're killing the depth and you know depth is the most important one of the most important things Okay, the highlight is too bright. Let's work on the white of the eyes. again I'm cleaning the brush and with the same brush I'm blending I mean, you cannot paint both eyes equal. I mean, uh, one should be brighter. Even the highlight should be brighter. Okay. Okay, this is a glaze and I'm gonna blend. It's not gonna be that light because since it's a glaze it lost a lot of strength when it gets dry. I mean uh, it's different with, with oil paint. With oil paint we see more of the glaze. With acrylic we think we see the glaze but it's not that bright, it's not that much. Ok, 
my kid just came back from the vet. Let's see what happened with the dog. ¿Qué tal? ¿Todo bien? work on the year again Okay, while I'm doing this, I'm thinking about the highlights on the face. Right now I'm thinking about maybe adding uh, maybe a violet to the, to the shadows. I mean, there's only shadow I have here and here, I guess. Mm, I'm thinking twice that. And some green. Those areas, I'm gonna add the green with just a dry brush without no water, just pure acrylic. Really light. Okay, I'm gonna take out the excess of paint just with that. Okay, let's see. I had one teacher that he used to paint all his paintings just with dry brush. I remember that was amazing. I mean, he's still alive, he's still painting. And I mean, he's not, it's not realism, he paints like, a, I don't know how to say it, but the point is the technique is, I mean, for me, it was amazing. I never thought about that. Now I'm doing this. I think maybe I will do this one of these days. But it, just, it takes a lot of time, yes. Because remember, my teacher, he spent like, I don't know how much, but a lot of time just doing this. Adding one layer, let it dry, another layer. The result is amazing because it's kind of, you see the colors beneath each layer. You see the color beneath. At some point that you start losing the, the colors, 
but it's different because you know this is dry brush it doesn't cover completely the beneath color and and it's amazing just amazing I'm gonna try that I'm gonna try that but uh, uh, I'm gonna plan <laughs> I think I'm gonna plan because uh, since it takes a lot of time I mean that would be a, a, a good idea maybe make that in three four sessions I don't know what maybe uh, still life because a portrait is gonna be it's gonna be too much work okay and adding that green little by little the brush now again red and yellow orange okay it's a reddish orange I'm gonna do the same I'm gonna take out the paint just with this this is almost like uh, uh, I'm just uh, making up her face like adding makeup I think, I mean, try this, yes, I mean, there is not a specific way to do anything, it's just, we try things, I mean, I have tried this once, and I found it that it's easy to control, uh, the paint, like, in this way, and I keep doing this every time, when I paint with acrylics, uh, it's at this, at, for the, uh, the last retouches, I, I do this. Can you feel some greenish colors and the reddish colors? I mean, that's the idea, yes? I mean, feel the, those colors. I ha they have to be subtle and that's normal the, the go back and forth with this. Uh, maybe I add this and then I realized, oh my god, this is too reddish. I gotta add green again and again and again. Okay, that's okay. I have to correct this. I mean, this is too square. Yeah? I mean, that's the way that uh, her mandible is, but not, 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 not that, not that extreme. Okay, I'm gonna mix here this with this. Let me see. I'm gonna try to end up everything here with this dry brush. First, I'm softening that. Second, I'm going to add the light here. Okay, I think that's enough. More green. Okay, the problem is I need to keep this wet. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this color. I have this, it's too wet. I do this, okay? And then I use this, just what I got here in my brush. Okay, let me check out. There is a light going all the way up. Okay, I don't have too much paint. I need more paint.
Thank you, Linda. Denise, for the jacket, just three strokes would be enough. Yes, I was thinking about that. You know, that's, a, that's something that's uh, so common to do. Add some brush stroke to create the uh, illusion that the painting is uh, it's been kind of done in just so far so fast and uh, when I was remember a student I thought that when I started painting I realized that there's so many tries uh, the, with the brush strokes until you you have what you want too bright yes it looks too bright I, mean, I realize it looks too bright here in, in here in, in YouTube it doesn't look that bright here my painting in fact my painting looks kind of opaque I don't know why why is that let me move a little bit my Yeah, I think I have changed. I don't know if you noticed. I have changed a little bit my my painting is more like that. It's a little bit darker. I just realized that. I mean, that's kind of impossible to get the same color. In you see the same color I got in my painting. Yeah. For the people that bought me some paintings, you know that there is a difference when you see the painting in real life. And the painting here on YouTube. Okay, I need to go back. This again with white, a little white, just kind of dry, and go again here. You want to find this? The name I repeat the name of this when you see uh, another paint is scumbling. To be honest, I didn't know. I didn't know that that was the name. I just find out. I mean, a few years ago, no, now, yeah. Uh, the name of this when you apply. I mean, for me, it just was applying a dry brush. But it has its own name, scumbling. Okay, let me check out. Mm, okay, okay, okay. It's almost three hours. I gotta go. I gotta finish this one brush strokes and I have to go. I gotta go to it. A bit darker here. always soft the edges okay I'm not gonna be able to soft all the edges here because you know acrylic is kind of difficult and I'm just running out of time so 
sometimes I spend more than three hours but today I gotta I gotta do something Just the colors that I have here. Thing is, I cannot uh, blend too much here. I'm just uh, choosing to soften this like this. Okay, and it's gonna be the same here. You know, try to keep uh, some softness on the painting. I don't want to keep uh, everything sharp. And it's difficult not to keep everything sharp when we paint an acrylic. I think that this uh, kind of um, integrates the, uh, the, the portrait with the background. You know, I don't want this to look like a, it was cut and put on top of this. Okay, Barbara, thank you so much, no problem, good night, thank you, Linda, Dennis, did you change the light bulb? Uh, I, I changed here in my, my, my uh, settings, my camera settings, because when I added this uh, strong blue, I realized, I saw the screen, I realized that the color is so different from my 
the color but not not so different yeah but i mean it's it's brighter in in the in youtube i don't know why i mean i have changed my camera i have another camera so now uh but anyway i think i maybe i gotta go back to my old camera anyway let me see if i can continue just adding this transparent glaze and let me see if that's gonna help Pain. okay uh, my intention like I said before is keeping the tension here eyes the eyes obviously is always gonna drive the tension I don't want sharp edges to know that I don't want I don't want to look like uh, I'm trying to, to, to copy a photograph and I'm, I'm trying to get the likeness I always try to get the likeness if I don't get it it's just my mistake it's just that I mean it's just because it's difficult I'm trying to do my best but besides that I want to end up with a realistic but painting and now right now I feel like it looks more like a, a colored drawing yes I mean that's that's what I think it's not necessarily what you think okay is that what I see and sometimes I see that today and tomorrow I see I'm gonna say oh my god this painting is amazing I mean that we, we change that that all the time I mean in me, in my case I change the, my opinion about my paintings all the time. Sometimes I just, I, I don't even know why. Okay, maybe I'm just, I'm just tired and I cannot judge anymore my, my own painting. And that, that, that happens to all of us, okay? That's why an advice always take a rest and go back to the painting later. and look the painting through a, a, a mirror in order to see mistakes and the advice are always the same and what what i'm feeling i'm feeling right now about my painting is something that you you definitely you're gonna feel and definitely everybody is gonna feel is feeling about their paintings doubts we have doubts all the time during the process obviously the more you know uh, the more you're gonna be able to manage uh, to control those doubt, doubts that you have to control the painting, to control everything. Okay. Okay, I think that's okay. I don't have to, I don't have more red. a glaze to make this, this a little bit transparent a little bit more okay I think that's it yeah mm. 
checking out always check check the drawing when I say the drawing I mean the structure of the face the line for the eyes the mouth the center line of the face we gotta be checking out that all the time okay all the time Okay. okay, I love this. You see, I have softened this with this transparent layer of white. I have softened this, which makes my eye, my e the ear to reach it. I need to add some highlights, but I, I just love this because it concentrates the attention here. Like I said, I'm not trying to copy the, the, f the photograph, just perfect. Yes. If I wanted to copy perfect, obviously I'm gonna add more lights to the ear. To the ear, I'm gonna add a little bit, but not that much. Just that. Okay. In this way, I keep my focal point on the eyes the nose is soft the mouth is soft I don't like the upper lip, it looks like flat okay, the shadows are helping a little bit Check out everything, go on the mouth, the eyes, the nose, again and again, again and again, okay. Okay, I gotta see something on the nose. Uh, I see that she has some kind of, I'm gonna draw it with this. Like this curve. Yes. I'm going to soften this. Okay. I'm gonna add Okay, that's better. Because her nose was too straight. Mm-hmm, looks like more her nose, I mean this, this shadow is going too much up. Yeah, that's better. I'm going all over the face, checking out everything. The eyes, okay, here and there. Brows, looks like, this brow looks like thicker in the photograph. You see that, bro? I don't want to go that thick. Maybe, I don't know, maybe... I'm gonna keep it just there. Even this brow is thicker in the image. Maybe this one I can add. I can make it more, more thick. Here and there, just a little bit. And it has some light here. This is the light here in the here in the, the brows, the hair. Okay, I don't know about her eyes, how greenish. I'm gonna add more or 
right here. Darker here, some eyelashes here. And the same, some eyelashes here. I'm gonna make this a little bit darker. That's it. Okay. Bye, my corn. Good night. If I take a beer, oh, that's always a good election. It's a good, a good corn. Take a beer. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Himan, thank you, Gok. Okay, your job is sculpting. Thank you, thank you. Nice, thank you. Sorry, Dennis, don't overwork it. Yes, you're right, man. <laughs> you're right, I know that should, shouldn't overwork, but I mean. It's, it's, it's not like overworking. I mean, at the end, it's, uh, sometimes it's, it's, it is overwork, overworking. But this, we, we try to make the painting better. That's what we keep making changes here and there, here and there. My advice that would be always try to stop and take a rest and then go back to the painting. Okay, my case is different. It's, it's for me like a practice and at the same time I try to get the best of each painting and at the same time I'm showing you how I do this. And I'm trying to get this as much as possible in one session. Because that's my that's my challenge, yes? that's my own challenge. Okay, that's it. Oh, and I'm alone. For me, the eye, the eye, I, it is eyelid is possible one line more up. Which one? The left on the, or the right? What do you think is Re? Because you know it's Re does the happy owner of this painting. Thank you so much. Everybody say thanks to Sri. Okay, okay, bye, Eve. 
Good night. Okay, it's ready. It's perfect. Okay. I was glad to hear. Okay, I think that's it. Maybe we'll do some retouches to the painting. Okay, not now, but... Just a little bit here, highlights. Okay, I don't want to get the bright, the light, like in the photograph. Because like I said, I'm trying to keep the attention here, on the eyes, and not around. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much. Take care. See you tomorrow. Mm. I'm just checking out again. Yeah, that's it. I think that's it. I see too much. The color here is not okay, but... I don't want to touch more. It's difficult to with acrylic. Yeah. With oil, it's kind of easier to stop. With acrylic, you do something, it's kind of it's not okay. You gotta go again and correct again and again and again. I'm adding this orange, trying to change the color here a little bit. Thank you so much, take care.